What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how you can configure your controller to Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori in the World of the Wisp. Now with Ori in the World of the Wisp I haven't been able to play the game because my PC does not meet the system requirements of the game but I have been able to play Ori in the Blind Forest with my controller and I noticed that you know they they go with the same configuration that you configure them the same way on PC when you want to use your controller so for me I'm gonna be using Ori and the blind forest but you could want to use it on Ori and the world the wisp it is the same thing it's pretty simple so without further ado let's go on now this game recognizes your controller on PC automatically but it's a bit messed up so when you launch the game the first time you might get your Y button to work like your A button like the select button so what you need to do is just um, you open up your file manager then we go to um, app data well uh, most people have a problem finding this in your file manager so if you do you can just come to your search and then type percentage oh, sorry percentage app data percentage then you click on enter then it's gonna bring you here now you have got to come here and click on app data here so you have to go to local then when you scroll down if you've already launched the game you're gonna see this Ori in the Bind Forest DE that's definitive edition so you're gonna double click on that and then you're gonna see controller button remap dot txt now if you're using um, a keyboard or something yeah this is for keyboards so you're not gonna have a problem if you're using keyboards but if you're using a controller you are going to have a bit of complications so when you open up the file this is how you're gonna see you know the mappings so um, it goes with the Xbox configuration but I'm just using a regular PC controller so um, this is actually supposed to be mapped at 3, then this is at 2, it's correct, this is at 4, and this is at 1. So, I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look like in order for you to play the game well with a controller. So now, this is how it's supposed to look like. Let's compare. So you see, 3, 2, 4, 1, then this one is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is quite wrong, it's not supposed to be that way. So it was pretty messed up, so I just took my time to look at them and map them well so that I can play the game. So if you're going to map them, just copy this configuration, you know, into your um into the file when you open this file first you gotta copy this configuration exactly as it is map it correctly and then I'm just gonna maybe delete this and put the correct folder there so you're gonna delete this one this is not right delete okay now I'm gonna put this there oh sorry I'm gonna put this here okay so now um the reason why I didn't use the first one was because you can't actually see me pressing the controller so but I assure you if you follow this configuration you're gonna get the game to play on controller without any problem so let's I'm just gonna launch the game so that you'll see how it works no, you don't see me pressing the controller, but, you know, I'm just going to show you a bit of gameplay. 
Okay, and there's something I forgot to mention. You have to change this to true. Now, if you look in the previous folder, you know, sorry, if you look in the previous file, the incorrect file, you're going to see that this is false. So you have to change to true in order for this configuration to work. So that's what I just wanted to point out. Okay, so yes. I just love this game. Like the first time I played it, I I like daydream like daydream about it all the time. So I'm really sad I couldn't get, I didn't get to play, you know, the sequel. Okay, so, there it is. Okay, yeah, so, the game is running smoothly, but uh, this doesn't require so much, it doesn't require so much, you know, you know um, like, it doesn't require a high spec PC to work, so. I'm actually pressing the buttons and it's working perfectly. A is as is working as it should. B and X and Y all of this. Okay, so there is the game. It's a beautiful game, it's colorful, it's like... Okay, so... It's like everything I wanted in my life. It's beautiful, yeah. I love the way they designed Ori. It's quite nice.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. I'm getting quite an FPS drop because of the recording. So, um, yeah, if you like the video and you find it helpful, you can click the subscribe button to support my channel. And if maybe you have any requests, uh, you can let me know so that I'll do my research and give you the information. Yeah, if you have any requests, maybe on low-end PC, anything you have, you, you know, you need to know about low-end PC because right now I'm using a low-end PC and I don't have money to buy an i7 with amazing graphics cards and things. So, yeah. So, um, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.